All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Call Hulayim La Yahawa, Baha Shem Yahawa Shai, Baha Shem Rechak Wadash, and double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, Shalom to you, Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahawa, Baha Shem Yahawa Shai, Baha Shem Rechak Wadash. Okay, so this lesson, you know, is going to be, you know, it's going to be, you know, about, you know, the brotherhood, okay, and, you know, loving one another, you know, because scriptures, you know, speak about, you know, how you, how you're supposed to treat a brother, you know, it speaks about how, you know, you're, you're, you are supposed to love a brother, you know, so, uh, you know, Lord's will, this lesson is edifying, you know, and, you know, of course, you know, we have to be there for one another, you know, and um, especially, you know, being that we're in the end, you know, you know, you don't want to have any, you know, issues with a brother. You know, you don't want to have any problems with a brother. You know, and if you do, hey, just hash that shit out. You know, because whatever you whatever you're going through with a brother, it's not worth it. It's not, you know, worth you know our salvation. You know, it's not worth it's not worth your salvation. Okay, whatever pettiness you got going on, you know, this is not going towards any particular brother. It's just you know, the spirit was, was uh, on me to do this lesson. You know, I've been meditating in a, you know, a couple of days, you know, and uh, I wanted to bring it out. It was spirit and power of Yahweh about Shmael Shai. And, you know, once again, Lord's will that this lesson, this lesson is edifying unto the Lord's, you know, sheep. Okay. So with that being said, let's get this quick scripture. All right. This is the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 13 and verse 11. I mean, excuse me, verse 1. And it says, let brotherly love continue. Okay, nice plain. You know, let brother let brotherly love continue. You know, what does that mean? You know, that means, you know, it be there for a brother, you know. You know, being it being there for a brother, you know, through his ups and downs, you know, not being, you know, a demon towards him, a tyrant towards him, you know, not being a burden towards him, you know. And it, and this lesson is going is going first and foremost, it's going to myself, you know. You know, first and foremost, I'm not I'm not exempt from this. I'm not I'm not excluded, you know, from the from this this epistle, okay. So the, so this lesson is going on not only for you, Anki, out there, you know, but for myself, okay. So Hebrews thirteen and verse one it says, "Let brotherly let brotherly love continue," and that's plain, you know, meaning you know don't you know don't you know don't be mean to a brother, you know what I mean? Don't be when I say mean. You know what I mean? Like, don't be, you know, rude or whatnot, you know. Now, of course, you know, other brothers, you know, other brothers are stern, are more stern, you know, than other brothers. But, you know, uh, but that sternness, you know, you don't want to confuse, you know, with being an asshole or being, you know, rude or mean, you know, because so, sometimes that's how a brother, that's how a brother, you know, uh, uh, just, you know, comes off. Not all the time, but, you know, that brother that's stern is going to, be stern when it's needed, you know, uh, at that moment, okay? But that brother overall, you know, still has love for, you know, for, for the brotherhood and for the brothers that's, that that he's around, okay? And that's around him, all right? So you want to always let brotherly love continue, okay? No matter what, because what do you Shai say, all right? Let's get this. This is the book of uh, John 13 and verse 35. And it says, actually, let me see. Um, let me start at verse. Thirty four, St. Uh, uh, John 13 and verse. Uh, Thirty four, and it says a new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you. That ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye if if ye have love one excuse me, if ye have love one to another, right, man? So if you have true love towards a brother, you know, then right there's a sign that that you are, you know, part of this ministry, that you are, you know, a disciple of Yahweh Shai. You know, that you are, you know, a uh, a part of this body, okay? Because you go, you know, you got a lot of Jakes out here. Well, that's one thing too. You know, our people, you know, the uh, you know, uh, 
you know, started starting off with the Israelite man, you know, they have an evil lie towards one another, okay? And us coming to this truth, you know, that that curse, you know, if you will, if you will, has been lifted from us because, you know, now that we've, you know, been called to this truth into this ministry, we understand that we have to love one another, you know, and take care of one another and, you know, tend to one another, you know, as, as far as far as being a brother goes, you know, we have to, you know, treat other brothers like it's how shy himself, you know, you know, and we don't look at, you know, a, you know, a brother, you know, like he's a, you know, a, 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 a nigga or like he's a, you know, a, 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 a demon, if you will. Nah, man, we you know we treat brothers how we want to be treated. OK. We don't treat brothers like like, you know, like they're not nothing. All right. We treat, you know, we treat brothers with uh, respect, you know. And that and that's how it's supposed to be. All right. And it says, I read it one more time, John 13 and 35. And it says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. If you look, if you have love one to another. OK. And and, and, that, and that's very powerful, man, because our people are, are you know, under curses and, and one of the curses that they're under, you know, is the evil lie, you know. Our people are constantly killing one another, constantly, you know, doing harm to one another, you know. But you, but you, how about Shmuel Shai, you know, has made it has made us new creatures, all right, and you know, and, you know, and uh, allowed us to allowed us to uh, you know, uh, love one another, all right. This is the book of Matthew. This is the book of Matthew 18 and verse 15. And it says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. All right. Now, like I said earlier, you know, now is not the time to, you know, be, you know, going through nothing, you know, petty right now. You know, now, of course, you know, things are going to happen. You know, you are going to have some disagreements. You know, but those disagreements, you know, are, is not supposed to, you know, um, overthrow the bond that you have with with other brothers. All right. That's why I just read the scripture. You know, Yahweh Shai's word, Yahweh Shai said, if you have a problem with a brother or an issue, you know, pull that brother to the side, you know, and, and speak on it, you know, and say and say, hey, man, you know, I didn't like that, you know, so on and so forth. You know, I didn't know if you were talking about me or, you know. Just simple, you know, simple things like that, you know, will, you know, will keep Satan at bay, okay. You know, and if you allow, you know, demons to fester, and if you allow, you know, that seed to grow in your mind, and you know, and if you allow Satan to intervene, then, you know, you not doing it right. You have to go to that brother, you know. You got to go to that brother and say, "Hey, man, you know, Satan been numbing me about this. Hey, I got to speak to you about this." You know, you know, uh, 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 this issue has been bothering me. Okay, and then you speak to the brother, then boom, look it. Now you and that brother is, you know, uh, is uh, is a uh, tighter than is uh, uh, you now you and that brother are tighter than before. Okay, and that's why and that's why you have that uh that term communication is key, in which it is key. Communication is key. You know, you know, constantly, you know, being on the same page. You know, constantly. You know, uh, being on the same, uh, um, uh, you know, having that same uh, mind, uh, uh, mindset, all right, and that, and that's, you know, and, and uh, as brothers, you know, that's, that's, uh, you know, that's how it should be, you know, being on the same path, being on the same, you know, page, having that same mind, all right, and that's all it is, man, you know, just being a brother, you know, being being a brother, to, you know, to the best of your ability, you know, and, and just being. There, you know, being there, you know, being there for one another, okay. Now, I want to get a, a quick one, real quickly. Let's see, Lord's walking, get it. All right, this is the book of. Sirach 6 and verse 14. And it says, 
a faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that have found such as excuse me, and he that have and he that have found such in the one have found a treasure. Right, man, you know, and that's one thing too, you know, in this cruel, you know, wicked as world, you know, a true friend is hard to come up by. Because, you know, you got Jake in the world, people in the world that are just evil, man. You know, you know, even back before the truth, you know, you know, I had dudes that, you know, I grew up with, you know, and they did me dirty. But now coming to the truth, you know, with other like minded men as myself, you know, that is a that's a, a hard thing to come by. You know, it's been so many times when I told, you know, told, you know, uh, you know, brothers that, man, you are just a, a good a, a good person, man. You know, you are. You are truly a good friend, you know, because that's hard to come by in this evil last world, man. Because niggas will backstab you, niggas will try to have sex with your woman. You know, Jake will, man, people are just wicked, man. They'll do anything to try to step in your toes, okay? But the brothers won't, all right? That, you know, and that's, and, and that's, and, and that's why a, a good friend to come up by is his treasure. Because a treasure, you know, you got to look for it, you got to, you know, you got to uh, try to find it, you got to, you know, you got to, you know, you got you to gotta, uh, search for it. And then when you find it, you know, it has gold and everything. It has everything, everything that you can wish for. You know, it's, it, you know, it's, 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 a, uh, it's, a, um, uh, it's, a, um, what's the, I'm, I'm thinking of a word, it's like, yeah. before, before, uh, lack of better words, it's a good find to come by. All right. It's, you know, and just like a brother. All right. Hey, man. That's a good treasure. That's a that's like that's like treasure right there. All right. And people out here, you know, you know, they you know, they don't understand that. All right. People out here, you can't understand the brotherhood. You know, and that's why we, you know, uh, uh, uh um understand, you know, one another because we're like minded, you know, towards one another. All right. So it says, it's lucky about, you know, that that little rant. So I just read it again. So Rock 6 and 14, it says. A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that have found such in one have found a treasure. And it says, um, verse 15, nothing doeth uh, countervail a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall shall find him, shall find him. All right. So hey man, you know, a, a, a you know, a faithful friend, you know, somebody, somebody that, that's loyal to you, somebody that you know that's you know, that's right by your side, man. That's hard to come by, man. Just like a treasure. All right. You know, a, a, a good friend is, you know, is is not replaceable. You know, you can't replace a good friend. All right. And that's why the brotherhood is so important, man. It's, it's, it's very important. Okay. And even the Apostle Paul said, it, you know, actually, actually, let me get that real quick. He said, um. Uh, Actually, let me see. I believe it's 14. Let's see if I can find it, Lord's will. Let's see. Yep. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and... Uh, one to verse two, and it says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding, excuse me, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Okay. So if you, you know, if you, okay, so you can know all the breakdowns, you can speak the Hebrew, you can be good in prophesying, you know, you can be good in, in, uh, in knowing uh, uh, um, history, all right? You, you can be good uh, at all those things, all right? But if you're not charitable towards the brotherhood, if you're not being a good brother, guess what? That means nothing, okay? Because what the Yahweh Shai say, he said that if you have love for one another, then you shall know that you are my disciples, Okay? Love others how you, you know, treat others how you want to be treated. Yahweh Shai said that. All right. You know, uh, Yahweh Shai, a, a lot of things that people say today in the world, Yahweh Shai said these things, man. Okay. The, the scriptures constantly speak about 
things that that that, that people talk about, you know, um, 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 out here in the world, man. You know. So you want to constantly, you know, uh, uh, you know, love one another. Now, of course, like I said, man, you know, you know, it's gonna, you know, get rough. You know, everybody, you know, we're not perfect. At least, yeah, we know, we know, we're not perfect yet. You know, we're still in the flesh, so you're gonna have, you know, some disagreements. But ultimately and eventually, you know, you got to get over those disagreements, all right, and keep it pushing, keep it, keep it moving. You know, keep, you know, keep pushing forward. You know, and a couple, a couple years back, you had the, uh, the bishop Zakharan. He did a video, you know, basically going into, you know, he was like, now isn't the, you know, now is not the time to be bickering or, you know, being petty towards one another. All right. Ha you know, listen, whatever you're going through, hash that shit out, you know, keep it pushing, man. All right. Because we are all, you know, we are all trying to be delivered. OK, we are all trying to, you know, uh, 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 gain salvation out here, man. All right. And you don't want to allow Satan to intervene, you know, and, you know, throw you off your A game because you feel, some, you know, because you feel some kind of way, you know, about some petty thing that's going on between you and a brother. Hey, man, talk to that brother, you know, hash that shit out, man. All right. Be charitable towards one another, you know. Console a brother sometimes. Now, of course, like I said, hey. Every every brother's not you know you know uh you know soft spoken, you know every brother's different. But hey man, w w just know that brothers mean well, all right. Even though they can come across whether it be soft or 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 a little stern, just know that brothers mean well in the long run, all right. So with that being said, I just want to say call him la, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakwadash. Dope and honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And uh, once again, shall I want to you, Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. And Lord's word, and Lord's word, this lesson was edifying unto you. All right. And shall I want to the house of David, the hopeful elect? Shall I want?